Okay, this is what's happening at Willow Springs for April 2019. Okay, so April 1st, Monday. I've got some semi exclusives on the two main track. Uh, you can come out here and, and test your race car on a semi exclusive basis, which means you're sharing the track with less people than an open testing basis. So that's what that is. That's uh, the streets and the main track on Monday. Then we have some other testing. Uh, our buddy Todd Barnes is getting married that Monday at the Budweiser Balcony, an old track friend. I want to say congratulations to Todd Barnes if he sees it. Good luck to you. Wednesday, we have a private, let's see, a private track day. Ed Sanders is going to be doing a track day out here, and Motion Picture Drivers Clinic is going to be on the Speedway for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, those are professional stunt drivers from all over the world to come out and use Rick Seaman's motion picture stunt driving clinic to hone their skills on our quarter mile paved oval. Also, he uses our Walt James Stadium. He uses our Streets of Willow sometimes. He has jumping courses, gets the car up on two wheels, does all that parallel parking like a glove, like on Ace Ventura thing where they, and they go right in there. A bunch of cool stuff, but he does that. And then on Thursday, I have two private rentals. It looks like some motion picture clinics, so they're probably filming a commercial, doing some kind of YouTube stuff. Who knows what's going on? They keep it all hush hush and secret, like they're CIA agents whenever they're filming out here. So here we go. Friday, I have our first open testing event on the main track. That's Friday the 5th. And I'm looking, I don't see any automobile racing, so it's going to be a light open testing day and we would let more novice people come out and open test on a day like that because it's not a race weekend there's not 500 Porsches on the track uh, yeah so open testing it's gonna be a light one so it's a little bit more of a novice one we'll let you come out so let's see 75 for your car 75 for your driver fee and then you need an annual membership that's 75 bucks it's the cost of it race prepared cars only don't bring your mom's mini minivan out here and trying to have fun here. So that's Friday. So that's the first week of April. Going into the first weekend, I have our only, well, we have two, okay, never mind, it's pretty even mix. We have our first, we'll say, our first automobile track day of the month, Speed Ventures. You never know what he's doing. They do all kinds of uh, time trials. Uh, I don't think much wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. I'm, we don't have to give them a lot of wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing insurance. Uh, but they do a lot of uh, time attacks, a lot of challenges, Cadillac challenge, a lot of stuff. Speedventures.com, Aaron Binderman, he runs a really, really tight program. Aaron Binderman with Speedventures. He's going to be out here the 6th on the 2.5, and then for motorcycle track day, they're all kind of the same. All the ones that come out here are great. I don't have any complaints about any of them. But Let's Ride is going to be out here on the streets, and then on the Horse Thief Mile, I have Street Masters. It's Walt Fulton runs the uh, the uh, Street Masters. They're out here on Saturdays only. They come out here on the horse thief. They start in Los Angeles somewhere, and they do some kind of ride, you know, clinic -y ride from Los Angeles to here. And then they use our horse thief mile all day and sim simulates canyon riding. They paint a stripe on the track, all that stuff. I've said it before in previous videos. But yeah, Street Masters is going to be here, and I just want to say everything I talked about today is going to be in a link underneath the description here. Classic motorcycle track day. It's pretty unique. He's not like any, uh, any of the other guys. He's, you know, it's a little more laid back, as the uh, title of the program would suggest, ramming speed. Very uh, safe and organized, though. But yeah, you have a classic motorcycle. If you look at this one, uh, Earl Roloff, pan over to this. If you have something like that beast, that ninja, bad daddy, you can come out and join Ramming Speed for their track day. The second week of April, this is going to be the 8th through the 14th, and let's get it going. On the 8th, Monday, I have, uh, looks like a car company is going to be out here, exclusive rental on the main track, doing some uh, something that has to do with their car they're creating. And then on the streets, I have Reggie Pridmore's class. He's out here Monday and Tuesday, and he does a clinic uh, that, that runs the gamut of motorcycles. I mean. They'll teach you how to ride safe on the streets and give you some pointers and uh, give you more confidence on the streets out there with all those cars. And it'll also teach you how to go around the track a little faster. Very good program, Reggie Pridmore's class. There'll be a link in the description. He's gonna be out here Monday and Tuesday on the streets. 
Uh, then I just have some uh, semi-exclusives and some practicing uh, for the rest of the week, besides two things I want to talk about. All-time racing. Tim, with all-time racing, give our office a call if you want more information. A lot of Mopar, for some reason, comes out with all-time racing and Tim. A lot of beautiful cars. I mean, some old Barracuda is out here with this track. He's out here like once. He does it for fun. He does it a couple times a year. If you want to come out and check it out, that's going to be on the 11th of April. It's a Thursday, so I, you can come out just to watch it for free. And call Tim if you want to participate. If you have some old, uh, some old car you want to put on the track, get out of the garage and put on the track and just cruise. But yeah, all-time racing is going to be on the 11th, and then I have uh, California Superbike School starts that same day. They're usually out here for five days at a time. One, two, three, four. Only four this time. They're starting Thursday the 11th, and they go all the way through the 14th to finish the second week up. That's California Superbike School. I've talked about them plenty on other videos, and there's a link in the description. Go check out old videos, and I'll tell you all about California Superbike School. And then we have M1GP. It looks like round one M1GP on the um, uh, kart track. Young Lee, M1GP, does a great, uh, great racing series. Very honest, by the book. Uh, he's, he treats everyone the same. If you want to race and you're sick of, uh, come on, it's, it's going to be, a, it's a very competitive and uh, friendly environment. M1GP, round one on the 13th of, of, uh, of April, Saturday the 13th of April. There'll be a link in the description for that. Let's see, nothing else, California Street Bikes. Well, it looks like our main track is empty on the 13th. Someone had a cancellation. Say the 14th, I have Pretty Bird out here. Pretty Bird is a, uh, an organization that does commercials. You know, it's a production organization. So someone's filming a commercial of some sort on the big track. And they're doing it on a weekend when we're open. So I, it's not a, it's not a non-disclosure or anything. So if you want to come check out M1GP California Superbike School, you can also see, see them filming some stuff on the main track. It's kind of different to see uh, professional production. They do a lot of crazy stuff. And we're going to do the third week of April. Uh, that's going to be the 15th through the 21st. Here we go. Let's do it. All right. So the 15th, Terrence Washington going to be on the main track. That's a Monday. Some, some guy that wants to rent the track and have fun, most likely. Then I have uh, Jay Leno is going to be out here. Or not Jay Leno himself, maybe. Just his uh, garage dogs or, you know, Jay Leno. He, he loves cars and he has a lot, of, a lot going on. But he's involved in whatever's going on here. Then I have Motor Trend on the main track on the 17th, doing some kind of uh, Motor Trend kind of stuff. They're pretty self-explanatory. And then I have another private on the streets on that Wednesday. Motor Trend wrapping up the Thursday and Friday of that week. And another private track day on the 19th for the main track. And in between, I have Motion Picture Driving Clinic, the stunt show, Rick Seaman out here. He's gonna, he was out here the first week, and he's going to be out here the third week. So he's got a busy schedule this month. Well, it's all just private events that week. And then we go into the weekend, 20 and 21. I've got Extreme Speed. He's uh, very similar to Speed Ventures. Does a lot of different challenges, a lot going on. Uh, sometimes it's just a, a track day for kids in their cars, and sometimes it's a, a challenge for professional drivers that travel the world, red line time attack. You never know what you're going to see with Extreme Speed. They're on the main track, the 20th only, and then we're, they're going to be out here with one, one run club who's actually out here the weekend uh, we're filming this. The weekend after we're filming this, they're going to be out here. I've never seen them before, so I'll check them out this weekend. I'll have more to say about it next time I see them on the calendar. But one run club's going to be on the streets uh, the 20th. Then all my small tracks, it's pretty busy. Let's see here. Okay, in week two, I talked about M1GP on the kart track. Well, they're doing their second race of the year, it looks like, on the Horse Thief Mile, the 20th. So they're going to be on the Horse Thief Mile. That's a, it's a pretty fun, to, it's like Mount Everest that they're racing on. But they have fun doing it. Um, M1GP and uh, sort of a, a similar group to him, UMRA. Uh, I think it's like United Mini Riders Association, something like that. Their mini motorcycles too. Looks like they're having one of their events on the kart track. So it'll be mini motorcycles everywhere on the 20th. Uh, and then I have, uh oh, looks like the Speedway's opening night. Uh, Speedway Willow Springs put on by uh, Andy Daddario. 
man, it's a hell of a show. He does. He, he's like uh, he's like Barnum and Bailey out there of racing. He has crash derbies. He has chain races. He has trailer races. He has uh, God anything. Of, they do skid plate racing, uh, and then they have their late models. They have their hobby stocks. They have their outlaws. They have their mini stocks. I mean, and if you want to get into racing, uh, the circle track is like the hometown racing. You buy some old beater and you put minimal money into it. And they have classes for uh, people that don't want to spend too much. You just have to check. You have to check it out. Uh, I don't have a phone number or anything, but if you call our track office or look at the description down in the box, down underneath the video in the, in the, in the description box below, there'll be a link to to some information on this. Uh, Rody's good about doing that for us. So yeah, opening night, the twentieth. Be there or be square. So I've gone over all that. The balcony I have. Uh, Circuit Spirit, I don't know quite what that is, drifting. Uh, so Circuit Spirit drifting on the balcony and Drift 101 on the Wall Jam Stadium. So there'll be some grassroots drifting out here as well. It's a great weekend to come out. Extreme speed and that line that leading up to our, uh, our last week of April, which is uh, pretty jam packed. But so that's what's going on this Saturday. And then we go into third weekend of April. We have people out here and they just have fun. It's going to be out here on the, on the main track. You can come check out some really cool supercars. Uh, and then I have Fastlane. Looks like they're going to be doing something on Easter Sunday. So it's going to be a, a pretty cool Easter Sunday out here at Willow Springs after you're done hunting eggs and uh, doing your thing. Come out here and get some fresh air in this beautiful desert. Walk around our track and just have fun. Pretty cool place. It's almost like a park. But anyway, yeah, that's Easter Sunday. And uh, wraps up the third weekend of... Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the final weekend of April. And it is going to be exciting, let me tell you. Who knows? Okay, so we're going to go all the way from 22 to 30. So it's a week and two days, nine days at Willow, the last week of April. Link for Fast Lane in the description below. They do team defensive driving. They've been out here doing, uh, they've been out here doing uh, racing clinics and driving schools for 30 years. Fast Lane Racing School. There'll be a link in the description below. Then I have uh, Tuesday Motor Trends back out of here. Fast Lane, of course. Uh, a couple private track days on uh, up to Wednesday the 24th. And that's when the fun starts. Thursday all the way to Sunday the 25th through the 28th. We have Armour. Practice. Saturday race day. Sunday race day. All day from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Bitchin' badass motorcycles on the racetrack. It's my favorite weekend at Willow Springs, I'm not lying. I love these bikes. I'm not even really a bike guy, but just the way these things look, it's just so Americana, so history. It's even global because these, there's these old world super bikes and things. It's, it's, every, it's everything, it's really cool. If you're a bike guy, come out to Arma Weekend. Uh, Brady Walker helps us promote this. He's the guy that runs Rammy's Key. He's out here the first week of April. A big shout out and thank you to Brady Walker. We love you, bro. And. Uh, we, it's just a great weekend. Come out, check out Arma. Uh, family, uh, a lot of family fun out here. You can bring the kids out here, bring the dog, keep them on a leash. We're a giant motorsports complex. Come out and walk around the desert, check some motorcycle racing out. Arma, it's the weekend is 27 and 28. They're going to be out here setting up 25 through 28. Come out and check it out. So that's the main thing going on the last weekend of April. It's vintage motorcycle racing. It's uh, old AMA racers, old world superbike racers come out here that haven't done it for years just to have fun. They do tributes to guys that were beating everybody in the 70s and just destroying everybody on these motorcycles that uh, were basically dinosaurs. I mean, they, they didn't have half of, I mean, the production motorcycles that come out now can do laps around these things right off the line. And these guys were inventing racing motorcycles back in the day and it makes it very interesting each bike is so unique that they bring out your cafe racers big super bikes they're all so unique because people really had to make their machine fast because the factory didn't do it for you you know how old school works and uh, these motorcycles are amazing uh, a classic bike uh, like a show that's put on by uh, i forget his name Gosh, I can't remember his name. I'm sorry, bud, but he puts on a bike show every year in our little quad. There's, there's a, a flea market. We allow you, the, the cool thing about this weekend is we allow vending for the gate fee out here. So if you come out on Armour Weekend and you have something to vend, anything, 
we do a swap meet out here, and you just pay for the days you're going to be out here. You set up. The earlier you get here, the better spot you're going to get. And primarily, everyone's setting up for that Saturday. Excuse me. Because that Saturday has the most foot traffic. Everyone's out here walking around. Hopefully, it's a beautiful day like it is out here right now. And uh, people are loose with their money, and they, they spend some cash out here. And you, uh, the, the reason most people come out here is because there's classic motorcycle parts, classic bikes, frames, all that stuff that kind of follows Arma around, and uh, that you can get some stuff that's hard to get. That you, don't, you don't have to track experience. Uh, uh, just like Let's Ride, one of our premier groups out here of motorcycles, now these are just going to be normal uh, late model motorcycles, you know, just out here having a track day. Let's Ride, uh, track experience going to be out here the 27th and 28th, along with Total Control, who is an expert level clinic for people on the Horse Thief Mile. You have to really know what you're doing to check out Total Control. And he's on the Horse Thief Mile. Um, of course, everything I said, all of these events, if you could understand me talking that I've said, are going to be have links in the description down below. And uh, to wrap up the week, that wraps up the, the weekend and all of the action, and then we go into the last couple weekdays of April, and it's uh, going to be fast late again. We talked about them, the motor trend, you know, that's kind of our bread and butter, those kind of things. But I mentioned to you guys, uh, this YouTube channel, Rody Thomas, puts, is putting on a lot of uh, motorsports content. And so keep coming back and checking it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can send your friends to at, WS, uh, at real WSIR, and there's going to be a link right to this YouTube channel if you can't remember Rody Thomas. And, and this, this video you're watching right now. And since you're watching this video, I want you to take a minute and there's a bell and a subscribe button. I want you to hit the subscribe button. I want you to smack that bell right in the face and get some notifications every time Rody Thomas tells you about what's going on at Willow Springs International Raceway.